How is it to be back? I mean, oh, man, I'm just extremely grateful to be back with the group of guys I started off the year with, man, and, and take on this journey with them. Yeah, uh, how was it getting that phone call? Like I said, it's just just a blessing, another blessing on on top of the, the many blessings that I have received, you know, throughout my career. As like uh, just another opportunity for me to do this, what I love to do with the guys that, like I said, like that I started with, is big for me. And so I just go out there and give my all for the guys. Did have you, you see spent the last? Back? Did you? I mean, what, how did it end here? Uh, you, you know, I think it was kind of a numbers game. You know, they right. had the guys that they were going to go with, and I was just kind of the odd man out. And they kind of told me I didn't do anything wrong. You know, but we have our guys, and if anything happens, you know, we'll give you a call. And so, like, I took it with a grain of salt. Right. You know, it's the business. Right. Went home and, you know, just stay ready and prepared. And when I got the call, I was ready to come back. Can't make waiting any easier knowing that they... No, it, it can't. It, could, it can't. But, uh, like, I, I went and played arena for the Massachusetts okay. Pirates. And then I, after that season was over, I started coaching at Northern Michigan University. You know, we was in training camp at the time, and we, I was heading to a scrimmage with my team. And uh, I got the call, you know, and it was bittersweet to leave those guys, but right. they, they understood, you know, the mission that we all are on with this sport. And so they were very supportive. Do you have your path set out for post-playing whenever whenever that is? Oh, yeah. I think it's, I think it's pretty set yeah. for that. You know, I'm finishing up my degree at Ohio State right okay. now as well. And so, you know, everything is kind of coming into, you know, like I wanted to, and so I'm just going to keep pushing. Whatever happens next, I'll be ready for Maybe it. Maybe that'll be the worst thing that uh, your, your path this season is uh, kind of taking a little bit of a circle. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, man. Like I've said, it, it, I could have, you know, got released and went home and just, you know, drowned in my sorrows. But, you know, God has a plan for everybody. And, you know, my plan was to, you know, prosper and, and come back and hopefully help the team make the playoff. So you were, you were playing arena ball since you left. Right? Yeah, you I played. Yeah. As soon as I left here, I went and played arena. Yeah. And then once that season was over, we lost in the playoffs. I went and got I got a coaching job at, at the Northern Michigan. So yeah, it's pretty pretty busy release yeah. for me. How, <laughs> how many, how many games you play? We hadn't played a game. Oh, you talking about an arena? Yeah. I played four games. Yeah. Yeah, and I did pretty well there. I had scored, scored a couple of touchdowns, and, you know, I, I, I mean, I did pretty well. We just happened to lose. But I continued, you know, on my path and got a call from Northern Michigan and went out there and gave my all for the kids. And then I got a call for myself. So... Like I said, they understood, and I was ready to come back. It's not everybody who gets a, a shot no, at no, coaching at that level. Right? No, it wasn't. So it was it was definitely a blessing for me, man. It was it was, it was a great for me to see the both sides of, of the game from being a player and a coach while still being a player. You know, I have so much respect for those kids and what they go out there and do every day, you know. So I feel like it, once this is over for me, I, I'll be ready to do that. So how'd that come about then? I mean, you, you just send your resumes out everywhere? Uh, no, my, my, best, my best friend, he played with me in Hamilton, Marcus Tucker. Went to school at Northern Michigan, and he's coaching receivers. And he said they needed a tight end and running backs coach. And the, the, the head coach called me and offered me the job. Wild. Yes, sir. <laughs> the so arena league and in indoor football really seems to fill a void for guys. I know. Uh, yeah, it does, Powell's man. here, and he, he was playing indoor. It, and, it does. And Manny played it last it year. Does, I mean, it does. It does. I mean, I just feel like, man, if you if you on a mission, and you still got some 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 game left in you, and, and you don't want it to be over, that's a good outlet for you to continue playing, staying in shape, you know, be around the game. And if they do call you, you'll be ready to play. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing wrong with playing the sports you love to play and you're getting paid. You know what I mean? So I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity they gave me over there to keep, keep doing what I love to do. And it was, a great, it was a good thing for me. Nice to be under the open sky. You know? It is. It is. It is a little different. It's a little bit more warm out here. But uh, I'm adjusting and I'll be all right. Good stuff. All right, man. Thank, Thank you, Ray. Thanks, Shannon. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thanks. No problem. Welcome man. back. Appreciate yeah. it.